No, we don't need a headset. Okay. This, she does it. She's a pro. So I'm with Colleen Lowe, and we are live from. Where are we live from? My house in my backyard. Your house, and you willed me. I willed you here. Oh my gosh, I was so disappointed you that you were gonna be here, and I wasn't gonna be here because I was in Texas, and now you are freaking at my house. Isn't that holler? <laughs> oh my gosh. So, okay, so what we're doing is talking about, are you breaking the law? And what scripture verse did you refer this to? Okay, 2 Timothy 1, 7 is one of my favorite scriptures. Um, it says, for God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. So if God doesn't give us fear, who gives us fear? That's true. It's mm -hmm. holler. Right? So this was a true this was a true blessing. She felt prompted by the Holy Ghost to reach out to me, and she did. And I am so backed up with DMs. And then I felt prompted to reply. I saw one of her comments, and I looked and said, I looked at her profile and noticed that she doesn't have a blocked account. So I clicked on messages, and I saw messages dating back to we were having a conversation back in July, and I ended up going holy cows it's been like a month and i haven't seen these messages because i'm so behind and then we had this great connection mm -hmm. yeah you know what's so funny is i don't know how i found you and on instagram and then i saw that you had your book so i had john order it for me i read it i i just gobbled it up within you know two days just like you gobbled me into your family <laughs> yeah yes. actually he is now stuck my it, with us forever you can come here anytime anytime yeah. and you are stuck with ever forever with us now i see we have a question from wol breaking the law question mark which one? Oh yeah you know i i believe in the law of attraction which is how you're being we're all how you're being we're all like magnets and the how we're being is what we're attracting and I, before I learned about this, I thought this was uh, fooey and garbage yeah. and stupid yeah. because the first time I heard about this, my life was uh, a shambles and a wreck. I was destitute, poor. My uh, my marriage was a di you know, disaster. I didn't like my husband very much. You didn't like John? Mm -hmm. But you were sealed in the temple together, right? I know. Can you believe that? So which, which temple were you sealed to? Uh, Cardston, Alberta. Alberta, Canada. Mm -hmm. So if you have anybody on from Alberta, Canada, I do see your comments and I am going to go back to them, but I'm just flowing with the Holy Ghost because she taught me something really important, which I talk about a lot is about relying on that Holy Ghost. And so um, what I want to do is I'm just going to wait to get to all of your comments until the end, because I really want to make this about Colleen. And this is something that is, she is, she's, she's like, she's like welcomes everyone into her home in Southern Cal. And it's just, it's, it's amazing. It's just, it's truly anyone a gift. Anyone can come. Anyone, anyone, anyone can come. Yeah. And we're she, a free Airbnb. If we were free Airbnb, I got to <laughs> tell you her, um, the bed that I slept in last night was super comfortable. So it was really cool. So the law of attraction. So how do you relate that to the Book of Mormon? What's so, your scripture that you would like to go with that? Um, the, the law of attraction. Well, ask and it is given. Knock and you shall receive. That's in a lot of scriptures. I'm not a great scripture. I read my scriptures every day. I'm not either. But yeah, I'm but I, I read them every day. Yeah. And I know stuff. But if you my, I look at fear. Fear. Satan uses fear mm -hmm. to 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 limit us and to keep us small and from not shining our light. And, yes. and reaching our true potential and so I do believe that as we take in uh, courageous action outside of our comfort zone yeah and and overcome our fear because everything's fearful at first right yeah. like even like anything you try new like I tried paddle boarding uh, three years ago right yeah. I started and in the beginning of paddle boarding all you want to do is try and not fall in the water in the ocean right yeah. you're, and it's very stressful because you don't know what you're doing now today paddle boarding is very relaxing and enjoyable and i see dolphins out there and it's oh, just my favorite place is I'm, that why you have a dolphin on your in mm -hmm, your spout where mm -hmm, i took a shower uh, yeah i love dolphins, dolphins are, they come right up to me they, i, I they, totally oh them. they saved me in hawaii because i swam out to the current and i couldn't get back oh. and i didn't know you had to swim sideways and i'm going and going and going and i can't get back and all of a sudden three dolphins came up 
and they brought me to shore. See, I'm, I swear they come right yeah. up to me. A yep. Anytime I'm feeling down, dolphins come up to me or seals or sea lions. It's just the craziest thing. They, they swim right with me. It's yeah. just amazing. So we're going to go. And what's the name of that cove in Long? We're, we're, we're going to Alameda Bay tomorrow morning to paddleboard. We'll be there at around 7 if anyone wants to meet us there. Holler. Yeah, so, we're going to paddle. That is so cool. So, so um. So, so yeah. I like John now, and I'm. I not, like, yeah, I think, think you love. That. I think you love John. He's I'm, in the kitchen watching. I'm so. in love with him, actually. I love him so much. He's my best friend. He's amazing, and I would remarry him today, tomorrow. He's the best decision I ever made. Well, don't you ask him to marry you every day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but he says no. He, he says no because he says he's already married. He said he's already married. <laughs> yeah, that funny? that's hilarious. So um. So fear. Yep. Fear keeps us down, but I, I used to spend a lot of time complaining about my life, mm. about everything, to anyone who would listen, right? I cried a lot because I was um, unhappy, mm. and oh. we, we had financial problems. People could probably relate to that, right? He, her husband just brought us some Ooh, uh, cocoa these? things. Ooh, yeah. Coconut almonds. Coconut, coconut almonds. almonds. So we're just going to have a coconut almond. I'm going to let Colleen talk. So the first time I heard about like the law of attraction, I thought, well, that's baloney because why would I attract all this crap into my life? My life sucks, right? I have one, I have a, a kid that's hard. My marriage isn't the way I thought it was. None of my life turned out the way I thought it was supposed to, right? Right? And so I'm like, there's no way I'm responsible for all this. But literally, what is he doing? He's taking photos. Anyway, and I'm trying to swallow. So. What I realized is I, I was <laughs> attracting all of this stuff into my life <laughs> and we are magnets and how you're being and what you're thinking about. Oh, John, come behind us and say hi. Yeah, come say hi. Just everyone. come behind us and say hi. You or is there a big old bush behind us? Oh, yeah. My backyard. Yeah. So, John, um, say hi to everybody. Hi, guys. Hi, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. We had an awesome Sabbath and he has a lesson for us for Come Follow Me tonight, which is going to be killer. Yeah, so, that's awesome. It's, uh, yeah, so go on, Colleen. Okay, so slowly I figured out how to quit complaining and how to actually co-create my life. And I have really a great life now. Mm. And I'm very happy most of the time. And my key, one of my keys to improving your vibrational energy is appreciation. And I'm going to read you this card. It says, when I appreciate, I feel so very good appreciation is the secret to life become a person who appreciates and you will thrive you will fulfill your reason for being and you know i feel prompted to share a story that i wasn't going to share Go for it um you might think oh it's easy for you to say that it's, uh, appreciation is the key right mm. but you don't know what my life is like maybe that's what you're thinking right i believe that you can find appreciation in any situation mm. and um I believe, I believe that with my whole heart and soul. And uh, my son came home from his mission after 14 months mm. serving uh, in Houston, Texas, uh, yep. South, Chinese speaking. He was mucking out houses. Uh, ma Mandarin speaking, I believe, right? Yeah, Mandarin yep. speaking. Yep. And he was mucking out houses for Hurricane Harvey. They would go do uh, oh, yeah. 12 hours. I remember hour that. Days. I remember that. The, the, the mm -hmm. yellow shirts, they mm -hmm. called them. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw that. That was just around the time I was baptized. And they were showing videos of them mm -hmm. doing that, yeah. So he was doing that all day. And um, we got a call. I went and mucked out houses just so I could, I flew to Texas so I could learn what he was doing, even though I didn't see him. Mm. Anyway, John and I have date night on Friday and we came back from Crystal Cove where we go every Friday. And we were just talking about how perfect our life was. The kids were doing good, everything's good, right? Mm. John was working in the office mm. and I was watching Netflix in bed in my pajamas it was 6 30 at night and a phone call comes up and i didn't recognize the area code and i'm like oh yeah it's just a telemarketer mm. and the still small voice said you have a kid serving a mission in that area code you might want to answer that call and so i picked up the call and he said is this sister low mm. and i said yes and he said this is uh president hall carter's mission president and I'm like, oh, crap, my kid's either dead or something's really wrong because, like, why would he be calling? And um, he said, is Brother Lowe around? He goes, before the, we go any further talking, I'd like you to get Brother Lowe on the phone. And he was in the office. Yeah, he was in the office talking to one of his clients. And he's like, go away, I'm talking to someone. I'm like, you got to take this call. So we, get, we talk to President Hall, and he says, we think Carter might have cancer. 
he has tumors in his, he has big, large masses in his lungs and Salt Lake is looking for a flight for him to come home. They're gonna get him on the next flight out so he can come home wow. and find out what's going on with him, you know, yeah. with his medical stuff. And so Carter flew home and there's a million miracles in between, just even that 24 hours there. But Carter came home and we checked into a hospital and about 10 days into it, um, it looked like Carter had cancer in his, uh, it was his hips, his sacrum bone, his lungs were completely covered, his kidneys, his uh, throat, his lymph nodes, it was everywhere and it's a very aggressive cancer. And, and I, I know Carter, he picked me up yesterday. Yeah, Carter's yeah. fine. Yeah. Right, you met Carter. I did, yeah, I did. He's, he's an a, angel. He's an angel. He's true, and, and actually uh, um, her husband John and Carter gave me a comfort blessing. And I can tell he definitely is on the covenant path. Yeah, he's a great kid. Unbelievable. Yeah. So he's out serving a mission. He comes home 10 days into it. They show us just even, they don't say he has cancer yet, but they show us all these different parts of his body. Mm. And they're showing us the results of these scans. And I have to act totally fine at the hospital, but I hyperventilated, cried the whole way home because I'm freaked out, right? Because yeah. this is much you're, worse. You're a missionary mom. I'm a mom. I'm scared. Mom, yeah, My kid's yeah. got cancer yeah. everywhere. I'm freaked out. Yeah. And so I was talking to Heavenly Father, and my big thing is focus on appreciation to feel better. Yeah. And I was crying and talking to, it was about 2 a.m., and I needed to be back at the hospital early in the morning because Carter was having another surgery. And Heavenly Father said, do you believe all this stuff you post on social media about appreciation? Mm. And I said, yes, I do. Wow. Wow. And he says, well, what do you appreciate about Carter having cancer? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what do you appreciate about Carter having cancer? And literally, I said, I'm going to have to get back to you on that. I <laughs> I'll put you on hold, God. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I couldn't think of anything, Yeah. literally. And it's interesting. Um, I went back to the hospital the next morning. I walked in. I saw the big donors. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I appreciate the big donors. Because without them, we wouldn't be at this awesome facility getting Carter treated. So and, you found the smaller things that led mm -hmm. up to the blessings. Mm -hmm. And it shifted how I was, because I was fearful that my son was going to die of cancer in the moment, right? Fear, yeah. which is Satan's tool to distract us. Yep. Satan will try to limit us from praying because mm -hmm. that will help him to, so that we don't achieve our goals. It's one of his biggest tools, don't you think? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's mm -hmm. a serpent. He is a serpent. Yeah. And, and he will try and trick us. And then the orderly that was, uh, he's the guy that pushes you when you're you yeah. know, going to surgery. He was hysterical. And he was always Carter's orderly. And I thought, I appreciate his sense of humor and how he makes it fun to be here, even though it's scary, right? Yeah. And then I appreciate the doctors and the nurses and the volunteers and the people that prep the food and clean yeah. the sheets, right? Yeah. And so I started making a list of all the people I appreciated. And I started writing them letters. And that goes back to the appreciation that you have mm -hmm. for even even the quorum of the 12 in the first presidency because mm -hmm. you just felt their blessings yeah you know it's interesting the church really does watch after their missionaries and the state president showed up at our house the mission president had already called him and talked to him first and then he showed up at our house right after we hung up with them and they mm -hmm. prayed salt lake checked on carter all the time they they called and they were awesome and carter is a miracle he's alive today and I just know that as we focus on appreciation, no matter what's going on, it will help move up yeah. your energy and how you're feeling about your life because that brings us more in alignment with God and how God wants us to be. He wants us to appreciate and live in joy, right, God? We men are that you might have joy. Yep. And joy comes from appreciating our lives. And that doesn't mean waiting for someday to have this perfect life no. because there is no perfect life. No. Have you noticed? Your, uh, do you know no. anyone with a perfect life? No. The only one who's perfect is him. Right. He's the only one. He's the only one. He's yeah. the only one. And who did he hang out with? People on the margin. Uh, people on the margin, yeah. I was talking about that with your son today. Um, not Carter, I'm sorry. Um, Mason. Mason, mm -hmm. about that. And I said, you know, he would be hanging out with you mm -hmm. if he came back. He would. He would be hanging out with people like my brother who was addicted to drugs. Yeah, my other son. My other son uh, has has had struggles, right? Yeah, he has. Yeah, he's had struggles in the past. And, and he reminds me. I told her husband, and actually, we just picked her up from the airport from Texas because she was babysitting her her grandchildren, and she felt really bad that she was going to miss me in Orange mm -hmm. County. And then she willed me. Mm -hmm. I 
wrote to it her in hum- her journal. She wrote it in her journal. That is so cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is so cool. Yeah, because I want my friends to be people who have great energy and great light and connection to God mm-hmm. because we come, we become like the five people we hang out with the most. So who do you hang out with? Do you follow him? Are you following this guy and paying attention to his testimony and his light? Well, I always say only follow those who edify you. Mm-hmm. And I make it a point that I only follow those that, that, that edify me or that I personally know. And a perfect example last night was I thought I was sending a request to somebody like her to join. And it turned out to be somebody in the middle of nowhere, somewhere, another country. And mm-hmm. I just went end because I was, I was mortified. And I apologize to you guys. I went back on live by myself and said, I'm sorry, I'm still learning. But, you know, there's a reason for everything. Oh, we, yeah. and there's only one way to get better at this technology yeah. is to do it. Exactly. Because if you don't ever do it and you overthink everything and you don't yeah. take imperfect action, yeah. imperfect action is the key. Yeah. Stop overanalyzing and just and do it. You just do you said, it. And you, you said up. something to me today that you, um, when we're driving back from Long Beach Airport, you said, um, I have to read scripture every day. Every I have day. to read it every day. And then he, she goes, I, I have to read a chapter every day, put time aside to do that in the Book of Mormon or whether it's the, the King James Version, the mm-hmm. Bible, or come follow me or, or a conference talk, but you have to read it. Every day. And then, or else you, you just get cut off mm-hmm. from from those promptings. Mm-hmm. So I th- I feel I want to go and, and kind of see. So I have my, my iPad here. Okay. And what I'm going to do is see if we have any uh, comments. Uh, we have I, L-I-V, Max says... God's angels to the ocean in the oh, ocean. Oh, the yeah. dolphins! Yeah, they really. Yeah, are. they are. Thank mm-hmm. you so much for that. I don't know if you're still on. Um, and then we have Sarah Mitt. You want to read what she says? <gasps> I met my best friend, now hubby, at youth conference when we were 16. I knew I was going to marry him the first time we danced together at the youth dance. Sarah, I met my husband at a dance in the parking lot of our church. I was on a date with someone else on like a charity date. And I went home and I woke up my whole family and told them all I was going to marry John Lowe. And I didn't—I oh. hadn't even been on a date with him. I just they, danced with him. That's awesome. <gasps> I so knew. Sarah and I went live last week uh, together and we talked about um, uh, what it's like to help somebody go through the veil. And she's a life coach. She is. And, and she did it in front of the Kansas City, Missouri Temple. <gasps> And so, yeah. Oh, I love Sarah. I love Sarah, colleagues. I'm going to follow her. It's I like, love going through the veil. Yes, it's like, a, and then we have uh, Matt says hi. So we're saying holler. Hi, Matt. Holler. Holler. She does a better holler. All right. Holler. Does she not do a better holler than I do? So, all right. We have Matt says, do you speak Spanish? Oh, my Spanish is uh, really crappy. I took Agua? Sp- Oh, I took bad. Spanish. I took Spanish from sixth grade to twelfth grade in all four, four years in college, but I don't use it. So okay, it would be so you that would be a no. I mean, I I know some ASL, but that's like you know, um, you know, hi, my name is Dennis. Hola, como Hola. esta? Como esta? But her husband speaks Chinese. Chinese. So does Carter. Yeah, so does Carter. So so we want to read this comment yeah. from my friend A I A. Yeah. The more grateful you are, the more you realize you you have to be grateful for it's a beautiful circle oh my gosh cycle yes that's yes. the key yes it is yes it is being grateful and vice the spirit from ocean breeze and i love that name ocean breeze 620 i know isn't that great because we're by the we ocean live by the ocean we're, the cove is right there yeah so um and then crystal is, is waving her Hi, hands crystal. and so we have Hearts uh, sk sky. skies uh, does a red heart and then we have oh, prayers from Joan. Hi, Joan. Hi, Joan. <gasps> and look at we have Liv and Max. Oh, Holy yeah. cow! That this is back when we're talking about your son on a mission. Oh yeah. So yeah, she was feeling that. She was really resonating you, with that. You know that. what's so funny? I think Heavenly Father has a good sense of humor. I didn't want Carter to go on a foreign mission because I wanted him to be safe. Yeah. <laughs> he came back with cancer everywhere from a, a domestic mission. Wow. Well, but it worked out. So see, maybe that was God's way of saying, "Give it to him." It, we have to trust him. You know, one time Carter almost, he was flatlining, not flatlining, but his blood pressure was dropping, dropping, dropping. They couldn't get him stable. He had um, sepsis and a couple other infections. Yeah. And you know, it's so funny. Um, I was praying to God and I was saying, why are you trying to take my son? Mm-hmm. And that's. And you know what he said? He's not your son. He's on loan to you. He's on loan. He's on loan and you are schooling me and you are trying to tell me what to do. And you're not saying that I will be done. You're not asking me what my opinion is here. 
your son is on loan to you. That mm-hmm. is from God. That is powerful. Isn't that crazy? That is powerful. So what we're going to do is we're just going to finish this up. And then we have Sherry that works at Deseret Books in, in Idaho Falls. Hi, Sherry. Says, hi, holler. So we're, um, and we have AIY says, wow. Well, the only thing I could see to be grateful for at the time would be that we have an enabling gift. I like it. Oh, there's uh, Claire. That's oh, that's your grandbaby? Yeah, isn't she cute? Oh, my gosh. We're on IG Live, and her husband is FaceTiming. Okay, babe. So that is so cool. Yeah, okay. see, there's Grandma. That's so cool. Okay, so, the only thing I can see to be grateful for in the time would be that we are enabling gift of the atonement. You are amazing. Yeah, the atonement is always something to appreciate, right? It is. Because we all are sinners, yeah, right? Yeah, we are. We're all beggars. And actually, I was just called from my stake president this morning, and he asked me to speak at stake conference on the blessings of the atonement. <gasps> Ooh, I'm so excited for the next few weeks while you study that yes, subject. Yes, yes, yes. Because so we're all beggars. We are. We are. All. Yeah. Me too. I'm a beggar. Oh, heaven. I have so much to learn. So so then uh, we have this comment from Utah Mountain Man says... The toolbox of deception is wide open. Wow. Yeah. It is. It is. Yeah. And Crystal goes, I love this. Oh, we love you, Crystal. And uh, Liv Max says... This has brought me to tears. Oh, you felt the spirit, I hope. That's our goal, right? Yeah, that is. I, I will only use my social media to edify him. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, and Jesus and Heavenly Father are just so wonderful, right? Yeah, they are. They are. They brought us and together. This They did. Travis M. Heaton, when I say your word holler, I feel like life is pretty good. So, holler! <laughs> holler! I never heard of that before until Dennis. Just so you know. <laughs> For real, never. I never heard. Holler, and like, a, okay. So, and then we have um, our oh. Liv Max says I'm I'm going to write a letter. I have appreciation. You know what's interesting yeah. is Ryan Seacrest. I didn't know who he was because I don't really watch TV or listen to the radio. American much. Idiot or yeah, American, American Idol, Idol. Or He's one famous, of those. Yeah, 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 super yeah, yeah. famous. Yeah, but yeah, no. in the hospital where my son was is the Ryan Seacrest Studios that the yeah. foundation donated. And I'm the only non-famous person on Ryan Seacrest's um, Instagram. He has a video of me thanking him. He would call and check on Carter all the time. He's just lovely. Because patients don't call and thank these people. And the guy who donated $27 million for the building, I I wrote him a letter and thanked him. And any room Carter stayed in, I, I I tracked down all these people and thanked them. Appreciation goes a long way, you guys, right? It's those little at random acts of kindness, which is little. what it's about, that little. Um, tomorrow we're going to talk about the baptism you had in Chicago. Okay. That's a good talk. Ta- oh, this is good. All right, so we're going to finish up this. Crystal goes, um, I appreciate your energy and your testimony and your zest for everything. Is she not like me? We're All her. Twins. We're brothers yeah. and sisters. We She's just didn't know it. My brother from another mother. That's right. So uh, Sarah.mit says, you guys are amazing. Well, Sarah, you're amazing. I can't, I'm going to friend Sarah as soon as yeah. we're done. Anyone she, that wants to friend me too, they can friend me too. Well, we're going to tag her in the IG video, on the IG live that we say, or IG TV for this. And this is a long one, so I apologize for those who are watching it, but it's that's good John. information. That's John. Oh, that's your husband, Runner. <laughs> okay. And then, oh, look who's on, Elder Carpenter. Okay. Oh, he's the best. I'm back now. So glad you two are together right now. Two of my favorite and he's serving in this area and being transferred tomorrow and i'm not gonna be able to see him unless yeah, him and his it. companion come over but well, we have somebody in the house that doesn't have a testimony they can come yeah. over oh yeah we're working oh, yeah. on it they Coley come Lowe is we, working on it. we are going to have dinner right now so come on down elder carpenter yeah we got it so we and got then it what's next? we love elder carpenter is one of my favorites yes we baked a cake together is that how we met how did you find me I don't know. No, no. <laughs> Everybody says that. I don't so, know. So um, it's like you just showed up. You just showed up. Uh, I manifested you. Oh, wait, oh this Sherry is that. says, thank you both for sharing your light. Uh, Simply Music uh, says, um, you probably know my nephew. He lives in... Uh, At the Oh. Globe. Oh, DM me. Okay, yes. send me a DM. Because, and I'll tag her in this. Yeah. And then we have... Children are born through us, not to us. Travis, it's so true. And boy, wasn't that a slap on... On me to and wake the me last, up. We're losing the sun, so we got to wrap oh, yeah. this up. Well, I met my husband at a young adults conference. Our first date was a session at the Los Angeles Temple. His dad was the bus driver for the group on the bus. Oh. That knew, uh, I knew lots of ward members. Oh, what a great story. Isn't that awesome? 
And so we're going to just take one more comment, and that's it. And we're going to say W-O-L. That's John. He says oh, love you. He says love. Oh, so he is asking you to marry him now. Again. Because you asked him to marry him every day. All the time. So, and he's finally saying... He, he, he's he going to renew my contract. He's going to renew your contract. Well, you guys are sealed together for eternity. Well, he is stuck with me forever. What year did you get? What year were you sealed? 88. 1988. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. just going to leave that like as the most amazing testimony. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like I need to close with my testimony, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to just go with the spirit. This is a true example of family. All right. Mm -hmm. We... She followed a prompting, I followed a prompting. Mm -hmm. If I wasn't following the covenant path, if I wasn't feeling, if mm -hmm. I was not living the commandments, I would have not known to DM her mm -hmm. or, to check, or to be able to check because I have thousands of unread DMs, which I'm working on. I'm getting to that. I know that this is not a church organization, even though we are because we need the structure, but we are family and we are here for each each other 24 7 we are a 24 are hour family. church we are we really are it's the doc it, the doctrine that yeah that the we are a family we're all real brothers and sisters we don't it's not just something we say at church no. we are all brothers and sisters and uh we're all connected and when you get tuned in to that it's who you're being yeah. when you get tuned into that like i was really disappointed i wasn't going to see you right yeah. because i read your book and i'm like you're my kind of people mm. And um, I knew I wanted to be friends with you, right? And so I just know that God always... I have a saying. This is the last thing. And I'll let you finish your testimony. No, that's okay. I, I have a saying. This is before Carter had cancer. This is, miracles are my normal, and everything is always working out for me. Miracles are my normal, and everything's working out for me. It's after I wake up in the morning, and I thank God for waking up, then I say, miracles are my normal, and everything's working out for me. And then right before I go to bed, and I say my prayers, and I say, miracles are my normal, and everything's always working out for me. And I do think we have to trust in God and in his timing. Mm. It doesn't mean your life is going to be easy or simple. It, it, you've already, you've been at my house 24 hours. Yeah. Is my life perfect? Nobody's this. No, Nobody's this. No, so Nobody's this. I just know that if you develop a relationship like the prophet has asked you to with the spirit, that your life will get better. And when you don't know what to do, you can always turn to God and he will direct you and you can listen to him and he'll, he'll tell you what to do. You're never alone. And he loves you no matter what. And you're never, you've never done anything to block yourself. No, you you can always get back. You haven't. Right? Yep. So we are going to say that to you in the name of... Of Jesus, of Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. And we love you, and so doesn't God. I love you so much, and Heavenly Father loves you so much, and Dennis loves you so much. Yeah. And, and, and you're you always worth it. have a friend. No, you're. They're worth it. Everyone all here. All of them. All of them. Every one of Everyone, you. Everyone. Yeah. Is worth it. You're worth all the good stuff. Amen. And if someone hasn't shared that message with you, and you, and you were told differently growing up, and maybe people put you down, or you came from an environment that wasn't nurturing. That's all bull crap. You're mm, a divine sorry. son or daughter of God, and you are wonderful. You are mm. wonderful just the way you are. Mm. And don't, don't, if you don't think, believe that, I want you tonight to look in the mirror and tell yourself, I love you. And from this day forward, forgive yourself for anything or any negative thoughts you've had previously, and then move forward move loving forward. yourself. Yep. Amen, everybody. We love you. Mwah! Ah. That was awesome. You're awesome.